right with you. I'ma get right with you. Bad bitches, fuck up, they dismiss it. Bang. The world government seems to have begun to fear the rise of the D-Clan in the One Piece series. They were starting to worry that the D-Clan would start to take power and start the big storm they had promised. Whereas previously they seemed still relaxed with all the events that happened, and they do various ways to hide it. As we know in One Piece chapter 1053 yesterday, at the beginning of the chapter we saw how the Gorose seemed to panic, not because of their bounty, and also the election of two new emperors, but how the D-name appears in the new wanted poster, and the replacement of Luffy's picture with his Gear 5 form, to the extent that they asked Morgans to revise the news. But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. Maybe this isn't the first time they've wanted to remove the D-name from the wanted poster. After what they did to Galdi Roger, at first they also seemed normal when Luffy first appeared. Maybe they thought Luffy wasn't a big threat, but after they saw Luffy's progress and learned the devil fruit that Luffy ate, they started to panic. And this was the first time the Gorose looked so panicked and really wanted to remove the D-name on Luffy's wanted poster. In addition to being related to the D-name in the poster, if you also notice that Blackbeard's and Luffy's bounties don't seem as big as many people's expectations. Blackbeard's current bounty is 2,247,600,000 berries and Luffy 3 billion berries. Logically, the game value of the two characters should have a slightly larger number. For example, Blackbeard might have a bounty of 3 billion berries. This is because of the power of the two devil fruits he has, which of course can be a big threat to the whole world, not to mention the various events that Blackbeard had done so far. We know that he was the one who defeated Ace and handed him over to the Navy. Because of this, he also later became a Seven Warlords. Later, he was responsible for Whitebeard's death, which paved the way for him to become one of the Four Emperors. He even brought dangerous prisoners out and made them his crew. It's the same with Luffy, where he also does many things in his adventures. For example, he broke through and fell down, brought dangerous prisoners out, defeated the seven warlords, challenged the world government, and the most epic, of course, was defeating Kaido. In fact, Kaido himself is the strongest creature in the world. But the fact is that after Luffy defeated Kaido, he only got a bounty of 3 billion belly. Supposedly, Luffy's bounty value could be much higher. For example, at 4, or 5 billion berries considering Kaido's on bounty is above 4 billion berries. That is, the world government seems to be deliberately hiding Luffy and Blackbeard's bounties. They probably did this so that everyone wouldn't be aware of the rise of the D-Clan. Or, at least in the absence of the D-Name, people wouldn't talk about them. That way they wouldn't know about the rise of this D-Clan. The world government seems to be starting to aggressively try to cover the traces of history about the D-Clan. The trick is to remove the letter D from Luffy and Blackbeard's wanted poster. Also, they tried to temper this by not giving high bounties, so that people don't get suspicious or bring up topics of conversation that trigger the rise of the resistance movement. Let's just wait and see what kind of big storm Luffy will bring to destroy the Celestial Dragon and also the world government.